In this tutorial, you'll learn how simple engraved designs can be transformed into exciting acrylic products, such as light up signs, night lights, and more. So let's get started by creating our canvas, 16 inches wide by 12 inches tall. Now I'm gonna create a simple sign that I'm gonna light up. So I'm gonna use a rectangle. Um, the sign is gonna fit inside a box with a slit that will have light underneath it. So the light will shine through it uh, and then highlight the engraved part of my acrylic plastic. Um, so I don't know what that box size is gonna be yet, but let's just start with um, kind of five inches wide by three inches tall. It's not going to be something big. It's just going to sit on my desk. Um, I could round the corners if I want, but I think I'll keep them uh, kind of straight edged right now. I don't want the fill. I want a border of red. This is just the shape that I'm cutting my plaque out of. Now I'm going to go up and grab the text. And this is going to say, um, I heart you. So I just need the I and the U right now. And when they're selected, I, I don't care about the size. I can change that later. Um, but I want to find the font that I want. Um, something really thick uh, will work the best. Uh, notable might be good. Yeah, let's use notable. Okay, so with it um, selected here, it's it's a text a layer. I need to convert it to a path. So I can go up to Modify, Path, Convert to Path. Now I have an I and a U, and if I split them, then I will get the I and the U separate from each other. Now, again, they're really tiny here. Uh, so I'm going to lock it, and when I select one of them, I can modify it. So let's make them... Oh, two's a little big, 1.5. The eye, height of 1.5. And then I need to find a heart um, to go in there. So heart silhouette, let's look at the images. This one will be fine. So I can save the image oh, and it's saving as a, a web which won't work so that image is no good let's find another one but that one and it looks like it's cut off at the bottom this one will be fine great it's a jpeg save that Back into Gravit, I'm going to uh, import and place the heart and modify it to so create a vector. And then that group, I'm going to lock everything else so I don't accidentally modify them. And this group, we're going to ungroup. And then we're going to start deleting everything except the black. Um, let's see, there it is. <laughs> Lock it, and then I can delete everything else. Actually, there we go. So now when I look, there are still some white layers that did not get captured. Transparent ones. There we go. Okay. So then that heart, I'm going to also make 1.5. <clears throat> and all of these I do want to keep filled in because that is how they'll be engraved. And that's it. I'm done. So let's save this file. Um, our naming convention, name, 
project title, light up black, and material acrylic. And then we save. And then I can export it to download as a PDF, 150 DPI. And that PDF I can upload to our site for fabrication. Here is the fabricated acrylic light up lamp. I have lights attached underneath and it's sitting on a cardboard box that I have cut a slit in top on the top. 